Federal Hall. <laughs> exactly where I wanted to land. What are you laughing at? Do you know what day it is today? Independence Day. April 30th? Hey, it's my birthday. <laughs> it is? Right. It is. George Washington took office as the first president of the United States of America 200 years ago today. And it happened right here. We were going to declare another independence. The dawn of a new nation here. But you failed. The end of the Patriots' secret rule. Liberation of this country. This was where it was supposed to begin. This is where freedom could have been born. All you want is power at any cost. Jack, it's not power I want. What I wanted to take back from the Patriots are things like freedom, civil rights, opportunities. The founding principles of this country. There are some people that would say that Solidus is actually the good guy. And I kind of have to agree. Listen to me. We're all born Listen to me, my son. No one lasts forever. Life is nothing but a grace. Like he's not a good guy per se, but his objective, what he wants at the end of it all, is actually a good thing. The data of life is transferred from parent to child. That's how it works. It is. But we have no heirs, no legacy. No, oh, that's right. He can have children as well. Les enfants terribles. Clone from our father with the ability to reproduce conveniently engineered out. What is our legacy if we cannot pass the torch? Proof of our existence, a mark of some sort. When the torch N is nice video from parent to child, it extends beyond what is it though? Information DNA? It's itself. just water, it's water. <laughs> Nothing else. Isn't it cells like moving? No, it was just water. It was All ripples in the water. Nothing else. By other people. By history. The Patriots are trying to protect their power, their own interests, by controlling the digital flow of information. I want my memory, my existence to remain. Unlike an intron of history, I will be remembered as an exon. That will be my Son. legacy, my mark in history. Sadly, that's not true. Even that. I will triumph over the Patriots and liberate us all, and we will become the Sons of Liberty. He said Name the thing, up. the thing, the title. He said the thing. He said the thing again. Raiden, are you receiving? We're still this is going to be a very big call. Impossible. Get ready. The AI was destroyed. Only GW. Who are you? To begin, I live inside your mind. What you'd call human. Over the past two hundred years, a kind of <laughs> consciousness formed layer by layer in the crucible of the White House. It's not unlike the way life started in the oceans four Whatever. billion years ago. The White House was our primordial soup, Whatever. a base of evolution. <laughs> Whatever. We, Whatever. We are the very discipline and morality that Americans invoke so often. How can anyone hope to eliminate us? As long as this nation exists, so will we. Cut the crap! If you're immortal, why would you take away individual freedoms and censor the net? <laughs> Jack, don't be silly. Don't you know that our plans have your interests, not ours, in mind? What? Jack, listen carefully, like a good boy. The mapping of the human genome was completed early this century. As a result, the evolutionary log of the human race lay open to us. We started with genetic engineering, and in the end, we succeeded in digitizing life itself. But there are things not covered by genetic information. What do you mean? Human <laughs> memories, ideas, culture, history. Genes don't contain any record of human history. Is it something that should not be passed on? Should that information be left at the mercy of nature? 
We've always kept records of our lives through words, pictures, symbols, from tablets to books. But not all the information was inherited by later generations. A small percentage beep, of the whole was selected and processed. This is basically Kojima losing his mind. Genes, really. That's what history is, Jack. But what is being said right now is actually happening in a much more softcore way. Never fading, always accessible. Rumors about petty issues, misinterpretation, slander. All of this junk data preserved in an unfiltered state, growing at an alarming rate. It will only slow down social progress, reduce the rate of evolution. Right. You seem to think that our plan is one of censorship. Are you telling me it's not? You're being silly. What we propose to do is not to control content, but to create context. Create context? The digital society furthers human flaws and selectively rewards development of convenient half-truths. Just look at the strange juxtapositions of morality around you. Billions spent on new weapons in order to humanely murder other humans. Rights of criminals are given more respect than the privacy of their victims. Although there are people suffering in poverty, huge donations are made to protect endangered species. Everyone grows up being told the same thing. Be nice to other people. But beat out the competition. You're special. Believe in yourself and you will succeed. But it's obvious from the start that only a few can succeed. You exercise your right Boy, to say. freedom. And this is the result. All rhetoric to avoid conflict and protect each other from hurt. The untested truths spun by different interests continue to churn and accumulate in the sandbox of political correctness and value systems. Everyone withdraws into their own small EC. community, afraid of a larger forum. They stay in the is a genius. Ponds, leaking whatever truth suits them into the growing society at large. This is why Kojima is a genius. No one is invalidated. And because he's a pervert as well. Not even natural selection can take place here. The world is being engulfed in truth. And this is the way the world ends. Not with a bang, but a whimper. We're trying to stop that from happening. It's our responsibility as rulers. Just as in genetics, unnecessary information and memory must be filtered out to stimulate the evolution of the species. And you think you're qualified to decide what's necessary and not? Absolutely. And that's the thing. Who else no one is qualified for that. Garbage you people produce. Retrieve valuable <laughs> you people produce. And interpret their meaning for later generations. That's what it means to create context. I'll decide for myself what to believe and what to pass on. But is that even your own idea? Or something Snake told you? <sighs> Oh That's no, got, got him. <laughs> you lack the qualifications to exercise free will. That's not true. I have the right. That's what Does Love said the other day. Exist inside of you? It is. You call I told you. I told you Kojima was a genius. A mask to cover your own being. In this era of ready-made truths, self is just something used to preserve those positive emotions that you occasionally feel. Another possibility is that self is a concept you conveniently borrowed under the logic that would endow you with some sense of strength. That's crap! Is it? Would you prefer <laughs> that someone else tell you? All right, then. Explain it to him. Jack, you're simply the best. And you got there all by yourself. <sighs> oh, what happened? Do you feel lost? Why not try a bit of soul searching? Don't think you'll find anything, though. Ironic that although self is something that you yourself fashion, every time something goes wrong, you turn around and place the blame on something else. It's not my fault. It's not your fault. In denial, you simply resort to looking for another, more convenient truth in order to make yourself feel better. Leaving behind in an instant the so-called truth you once embraced. Should someone like that be able to decide what is truth? Should someone like you even have the right to decide? You've done nothing but abuse your freedom. You don't deserve to be free. We're not the ones smothering the world. You are. The individual is supposed to be weak, but far from powerless. 
A single person has the potential to ruin the world. And the age of digitized communication has given even more power to the individual. Too much power for an immature species. Building a legacy people, people. involves figuring out what is wanted and what needs to be done for that goal. All this you used to struggle with. Now, we think for you. We are your guardians, after all. You want to control human thought? Human behavior? Of course. Anything can be quantified nowadays. That's what this exercise was designed to prove. You fell in love with me just as you were meant to, after all. Isn't that right, Jack? Ocelot was not told the whole truth, to say the least. We rule an entire nation. Of what interest would a single soldier, no matter how able, be to us? The S3 plan does not stand for solid snake simulation. What it does stand for is selection for societal sanity. <laughs> wow. The S3 is a system for controlling human will and consciousness. S3 is not you, a soldier trained in the image of Solid Snake. It is a method, a protocol that created a circumstance that made you what you are. So you see, we're the S3, not you. What you experienced was the final test of its effectiveness. That's crazy. You heard what President Johnson said. The Arsenal's GW system is the key to their supremacy. The objective of this exercise was to establish such a method. We used Shadow Moses as a paradigm for the exercise. I wonder if you would have preferred a fantasy setting. <laughs> We chose that. <laughs> it was an optimal test for S3's crisis management capacity. If the model could trigger, control, and solve this, it would be ready for any contingency. And now, we have our proof. Raiden, there are also reasons behind your selection. Solidus raised plenty of other child soldiers. Do you know why we chose you over them? Hmm. Oh, here we go. You're big dick. The only one who refused to acknowledge the past. All the others remember what they were and pay for it daily. But you turn your back on everything you don't like. You do whatever you like. See only the things you like and for yourself alone. Yes, Rose can attest to that. You refused to see me for what I was. I lied to you, but I wanted to be caught. You pretended to be understanding, to be a gentleman. You never made a conscious attempt to reach out to me. The only time you did was when I gave you no choice but to do so. I was just trying not to. What? Trying not to hurt me? Dear, the one you were trying not to hurt was yourself. Avoiding the truth under the guise of kindness is all that you did. It occurred to you to do nothing but look out for yourself. Even if you claim that it was for my sake, that feeling was nowhere to be seen. In the end, everything was for your sake. I was never part of the picture. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> so you see, you're a perfect representative of the masses we need to protect. This is why we chose you. You accepted the fiction we've provided, obeyed our orders, and did everything you were told to. The exercise- Go get vaccinated! Yes. Real. Didn't I tell you that GW was still incomplete? But not anymore, thanks to you. Your persona, experiences, triumphs, and defeats are nothing but byproducts. Definitely the real not. objective was ensuring that we could generate and manipulate them. It's taken a lot of time and money, but it was well worth it considering the results. I think that's <laughs> enough talk. It's time for the final exercise. Raiden, take Solidus down. Think again. I'm through doing what I'm told. Oh, really? Aren't you forgetting something? If you die, my child dies. The <gasps> Olga's daughter, that's right. Nano machines means the death of Olga's child. Not to mention the death. So he has no choice. She's wired the same way. He actually has. 
Does she actually exist? Of course well, I do, if he chooses not to, the baby death. will die. He doesn't want the baby to die. To the death. Solidus at least wants you dead. We will collect the necessary data from this last fight. Then we'll consider the exercise closed. So, Jack the Ripper, will it be Solidus, the Patriot's creation, or you, Solidus's creation? Our beloved monsters, enjoy yourselves. So fucked up. Our beloved monsters. But one thing they got wrong. Jack. And I'll, my son. I'll say it when you finish the thing. Yeah, leave it for the end. My clone brothers and I are called monsters, replicates of evil genes. You are one of a kind, but still a monster, shaped by a dark and secret history. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Solidus. Just which let's fight. Will have the privilege of survival. By the way, Jack, I was the one who killed your parents. Oh. <laughs> what a nice detail. Yeah. Well, I guess he's like you for my own and trying you like, to like to make him like devil. really fight for real. I am your foster father and your worst enemy. Why? Because I needed to know whether we were really someone else's creation. We're repeating history, Jack. Liquid and Solid hunted down Big Boss, trying to sever the tie that bound them to him. Unless you kill me Big and boss. face your past, Jack, you will never escape. You'll stay in the endless loop. Your own double helix. Helix. All right, here Next we go. Time we were both free. Free me. Damn. Badass. Watch the dick. Hey, wait a minute. He has two swords. I have other reasons for wanting you dead. You do? The clues to the Patriots inside GW have been erased, but there are other traces. Oh, our nanomachines. Inside you. What? The information is being carried by the nanomachines in your cerebral cortex and throughout the neural network they formed. So that's why he wants to kill us. I, for I, I, I had forgot about that. <laughs> where did those <laughs> where did those doves came from? You were there, just waiting I for this. I wonder scene. how hard this boss battle will be, actually. Oh fuck! Okay. Come on! Stupid! Come on! Why is the <laughs> the frame rate was going like super fast suddenly? Ah, fuck! You got me. There you go. Just leave me alone, you bitch. Ow. Oh, wait a minute. I I think if I don't try to. Oh. Come on. Two. If I don't try to escape, he will just, like, let me go. He will not actually hurt me, if I remember correctly. I know it's stupid, but it is what it is. You shall see. What's going wrong? Oh my god! Can't you cut the missiles with your sword? That would be Fuck! Cool. Oh, I knew it. Uh, oh. I knew it, too. Halfway. Uh huh. What you gonna do now? Face two. Oh, he's gonna roll it up. Gonna, gonna fly? No octopus. Nah, he's, he's just riding, riding up. Like his muscles are bigger now. That's cheating. What the fuck? Who's calling me? Cardinal. You have to be Solidus. Yes, I know. We're not just pawns in some simulation game. Yes, you are. Raiden's just having this conversation while fighting. Fighter jets or tanks. 
What the? The old model. What the? What's wrong with you? Rex. The new amphibious model is Ray. Both of these are the same as the code names used by the U.S. Armed Forces to refer to Japanese warplanes during World War II. Your code oh, really? Really? I had no idea. Name for one of its interceptors. Stop it. I'm not oh, look at her eyes. Oh, really? Do you know the code name the U.S. Armed Forces used for the Japanese fighter Raiden? It was Jack. Both of you uh, are weapons to be used and thrown away. Just weapons to be used on the battlefield. Just pawns and against. Exactly as you said. And a weapon has no right to think for itself. Now, it's time to fulfill your purpose. Defeat Solidus. Yes, I was doing it. Yes, Overlord. Whoa! Holy shit, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> what? How am I even doing that? I don't Only even know how know. I don't even know how that works. I never did that. Maybe it's because you were close to a wall. Maybe? The frame rate? It was because of the frame rate? Oh my god. <laughs> nice. Oh, so that's the way. You just kick him. Yeah, but fuck that shit. Yeah, fuck that shit. Fuck, he didn't do the last the last attack. No, he did. Come on! Holy shit. Oh, you missed. Okay, he's just gonna run away. Nope. Get low, boy. What uh, the fuck? He fell. He did. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. It's fine. Well, one hit. Oh, fucking shit. So close. It's fine. Is that the best you beep boop beep. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Now he's shit talking me. You stupid fake ass colonel. Come on, attack me. Boop. Do it again. Yeah, yeah, use your stupid missiles. Or don't. I think this part is quite easy. As long as I don't fuck up. It's fine. Oh, nice. Got him. Oh, wait a minute. That's a bad spot for you to be. Hold up. Hold up. Come on, attack. There you go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. That's a shitty attack. Oh fuck! Ooh, that was so lucky. Ah, almost. That was super lucky. Take this. Take this. Ah fuck, okay, I'm not gonna do anything. I think he will just let me go. Oh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> I guess that's just normal mode. I don't know. Oh, fuck! Two hits, huh? Come on. Halfway, I think. Oh, one more, okay. Shit. Come on! Really? You son of a bitch! Yeah. Yeah. Fuck! Oh, he made you trip! Oh, he was about to do the, the bullshit on me. Okay, there you go, last phase. Phase now two. I, ju I just yeah. need to keep calm. I have tons of healing. <laughs> Tons of healing as a one, two heals. 
Off of the octopus. Off the octopus. What? Come on, Papa. Okay. There you go. Just do it again. Fuck! Oh my god. Oh, oh my oh god. My that god. Was, oh that, my god. That was so good. That was tight. Shit! I think I, I kind of stun lock him a little bit. Oh! There you go. Ah, oh, fuck! Ow. I can't, I can't do that. You really can't dodge that. Nope. I mean, parry that. Ah, oh, fuck! Oh. No, oh, but it's okay, probably. Ah, oh, no, fuck, shit! Okay, now it's not okay. No, it's not. Oh, what the fuck's going on? What the hell? Like, nothing He's changed. Always hitting you. Now. Yay. Okay, two more. Two more. Take this. What the fuck? It's right the camera. In. Where the fuck are you pointing that bullshit weapon? Take this. One more time. One more time. One more. I don't think so. That's now. it. Oh, oh. Easy so peasy. For you. This boss battle is easy. It actually is. The metal here is the real end, ba end battle. The hardest boss battle for me was actually still was Fat Vamp. Man. No, it was. No, it was Vamp. Oh. Well, Vamp. Was it? I guess it was. Was. It was. You only won by a stroke of luck. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, you're right. There you go. History repeats itself. The son now, kills Papa. the father. Uh, I bet he's proud. He's saying something. I think he is proud as well. My son. Yeah. The music. Da, 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 da. George. He couldn't save America, so, man. He couldn't. So, George Washington was actually a Freemason, if I remember correctly. And a Freemason is like those groups of people that are all infiltrated in governments and justice systems and everything. Like the Illuminati. Sure. I mean, America was built upon Freemason thought and philosophy. So all of, all that Kojima said is true. You know, I keep saying it. Like the thing that most impresses me about this is that this game came out in two thousand and one or two thousand and two. When the internet was like just an infant, still just an infant at that stage. And all of that thing that they were like talking about, that the colonel was saying, is actually happening. And the thing is, Maybe no one should have the right to do that. The thing that the colonel was saying that they were going to do. No one. No one has the right to do it. No, not an AI, not people, not n not government, no one. No one should have that right. Alright. This was actually a good point. Where the fuck were all these people? Or what they, are. they ran away. They saw something coming and they just the ran away. You have, and the you <coughs> Snake! Are burdens you had to carry. It doesn't matter if they were real or not. That's never the point. 
Hey Snake, are you real? Of course I am. There's Inside no your head. The world as absolute reality. Most of what they call real is actually fiction. What you think you see is only as real as your brain tells you it is. Then this is true. What am I supposed to believe in? What am I going that to ass. Find when I'm It depends free? on how you that ass. Stuff. can tell other people about having faith. Mm, those boxes. <laughs> what we had faith in. What we found important enough to fight for. It's not whether you were right or wrong, but how much faith you were willing to have that decides the future. The Sadly, that is, that is also true. <laughs> Come to think of it. It, it is. doesn't matter if you're right or wrong. Listen, don't obsess over words. It only matters if you have the dick for it. Words, then decide. You can find your own the name. The dick power. And your own future. Decide for myself? And whatever you choose will be you. I don't know if I can. I know you didn't. I don't know if I can. This time. But everything you felt, thought about during this mission is yours. And what you decide to do with them is your choice. You mean start over? Yeah. A clean slate. A new name. New memories. Hmm. That's a good Choose idea. Your own legacy. It's for you to decide. It's up to you. That was a good advice, Snake. Now you're the, the, way, the new Snake. What is that? My papa's dog tag. Dog tags. Look, it's my dog tag. Nairu. Nairu. Da, 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 da. <laughs> no. Why did he say no? I disapprove. No, never heard the name before. Hey, it's a no me man. My own name and my One own day. Life. I'll find something worth passing on. No! Fuck this shit. He's not a real <laughs> fan. He's not a real fan, man. They taught me dun, some good dun, things dun. too. I know. We've inherited freedom from all those who fought for it. We all have the freedom to spread the word, even me. Spread the word, brother. Snake. What about Damn, dude. Snake, Snake has a word. badass I'll mullet. Find him. Count on it. I love it. As long as you keep yourself alive, he's safe. Oh, that's right. The baby will only die if Raiden dies. I put a transmitter on his ray. Did he head for the Patriots? Yeah, but I have a feeling they gave Ocelot a bogus location to begin with. Cheer up, we have a better lead. We do. This contains the list of all the patrons. Oh, he has the disc. He, he managed to, to grab the disc. The one we gave you wasn't the real thing. Oh, oh. damn. All right, this cool. This virus is coded to destroy only a specific part of GW, namely the information about the Patriot's identity. Which means that there's a parameter coded in here that defines what that information is. I get it. Analyze the code uh. and you can probably find out where they operate. Exactly, yeah, Raiden. No, you have things to do first. I do? <laughs> yeah, he, he needs to take care of himself. People? Do you mean... Rose? Real Rose? AI Rose. It is real Rose. So she managed to yeah. escape. Either that or Snake saved her somehow. Either that or Raiden's still dreaming. That could also be it. Rose. You are not the real deal. Do you remember me? What if he killed her now? Snake is gone. <gasps> Snake turned into a parrot. What's yep. wrong? What's wrong? You tell me, bitch. What something? happened? Who am I? I'm gonna, really? gonna go. I'm gonna go for a drink. 
But we're going to find out together, aren't we? Oh. Are we? Yeah. We are? How did you escape? Who saved you? Were you was I really talking to you? See me for what I am, okay? You have crazy bitch eyes. She's a robot, Bryden. Oh, and by the way, I'm pregnant. Now it is time for Metal Gear Solid 3. Do you remember Not yet. this place? Of course. Oh my god, this, this part is so boring. They're basically just gonna talk, Oh, remember when we met? The Today good times! The I met you. Yeah, yeah. Like, what a stupid conversation to be to be held at the moment. Like, you should be asking, like, how did they get you? Did they treat you right? Were you really, like, kidnapped by them? Was I talking to you? But no, bro, this is where we meet. He said all living things want their genes to live on. Are you talking about the baby? Yeah. But genes aren't the only thing you pass on. There are too many things that aren't written into our DNA. Kojima's playing the piano again. To teach that to our children. And the saxophone and the violin. About the environment, our ideas, our culture. And this is exactly what Naomi said at the end of Metal Gear Solid 1. Sorrow, joy. Like, that the thing that we should strive for is to live, to pass on our experiences to the, to the future generations. So basically that's what Raiden learned. I guess Raiden didn't pay attention to the ending of the first Metal Gear. Kojima is also playing the trombone in the background. Kojima's <laughs> actually driving that van. Kojima is the statue. He's inside the statue. <laughs> <laughs> Kojima is the air. <laughs> well, there we have it. Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. <sighs> we did it, folks. But you know what? There's gonna be a, a last scene. Oh. And I wonder if I can actually skip these credits and go to the last scene. Actually, before I do that, so what did you think? I forgot to say something about the Cardinal's speech. About, about free will and how he was saying that people who are immature don't have the right to have free will. But that's not the thing. It doesn't... It doesn't even touch upon having the right or not. It's like moving moving your arm. You can move your arm because you can. You just can. You were born with that ability. So you don't have to be dependent on rights to do stuff. Well, but I think what, just it, what he was talking about... It, it wasn't like that kind of freedom. It was like the information. Like, you have the right to know everything. You know, if you want to, you can study everything, you can learn about the past, you can study things for our future. But what he, what he was talking about is that maybe some people don't have the right, well, not the right, but they, they shouldn't be allowed to do that. For example, and this is a good example, like for example, Otacon, you know? Otacon studied, he became an engineer and he studied because he wanted to do, he want, he wanted to make machines, right? And it's because of that, that like, things went out of control. But what if there was a system that would make it impossible for people to learn that type of technology? You know? There was some kind uh -huh. of system for that. That would make it as so there, there would never be any Metal Gear. Imagine if... If Einstein never learned how to make an atomic bomb, he never had the knowledge to, to design it, to, to create it, there would never be a nuclear war, there would never be a nuclear problem, you know? That's what the Patriots mm -hmm. want. The Patriots want to control that, that type of liberty. The liberty to learn, the liberty to have 
all the information in the world. They want to yeah, only but... give people the the information that won't like cause too much problem. Let's say it like that. I understand that. So that's the actual difference. When I say that I have a right to do something, that right is only dependent on my capacity to perform an action. Mm -hmm. And the right that the game and all of common current day politics, they figure right as something that should be given to you, as in the world should be in this way or in this manner. And I don't picture rights that way. I just picture rights as the ability to do something, regardless of having a duty to do so or not. So it's a different kind of conception of right. And they clash a lot. It's, it's actually the difference between negative li liberties and positive liberties. So ne negative liberties just tell you that uh, you can do whatever you want only if it doesn't hinder upon other people's way of acting and a positive liberty says that you should do this as in the positive outcome of doing it will be good and should be held upon so it's a it's basically a how do you say an ideologic clash between one thing and another and currently the world functions with positive liber liberty so it's assumed, it's cool. It's cool. Assume positive liberty. Well, assume some yeah. in some in some cases. Yeah. It's assumed. So it's like so it's like human rights. When people like suffer some uh, some violation, they always run to human rights. This this shouldn't happen because this is against human rights. And human rights are positive as something that must never be broken. So mm -hmm. it's a positive value, a positive liberty you have there. But human rights don't fix anything because you can you can just conjure up any mumbo jumbo you want inside of your head and say, this is human rights. This exactly. is human rights for this. So it's, it's actually an, a, an, an, an empty word or an empty concept because a right is only effective if you can actually employ it. You can exactly. say that you have the right to go to space, but what of it? Can you go to space? So where are you taking this right from? But that's the thing. If like, I can go to space, it is my that, actual That's the type of right prerogative, they want to you filter. know. They want they, they don't want people I know, to... I know, I know. Oh, you know. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. I understand it. I understand that. I'm I was just clarifying the 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 types of uh, ways you can think right. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of ways you can um, make a thesis about what kind of right should be held the, the utmost importance to rule society and for me it's the liberty right the one that actually makes you able to act irrespective of right and wrong you just act because you can you have to face consequences though but and sure. then you can also go back to that point where he was talking about filtering information that is basically what companies like Facebook, like Twitter, etc., are doing now. And Instagram. And of Instagram. Course. Everything. And YouTube. All of, all of these social uh -huh. medias, they try to do it. And let's not kid ourselves. The government also does that. It, of it's, they not, do. it's not like these companies are evil. Like, the government, like, if you think about it like that, like, the government is also evil because the government also tries to censor censor stuff they try to control information of course. and that's why that government and social medias are starting to clash with each other life isn't just about passing on your genes we can leave behind much more than just dna through speech music literature and movies what we've seen heard, felt, anger, joy, and sorrow. These are the things I will pass on. That's what I live for. Poor we Snake. Pass the torch. And Snake can't have children. Our messy and sad history by its light. We have all the magic of the digital age to do that with. 
The human race will probably come to an end sometime, and new species may rule over this planet. Earth may not be forever, but we still have the responsibility to leave what traces of life we can. Building the future and keeping the past alive are one and the same thing. Oh, And you finish off with the Statue of Liberty. Mel Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Symbolism! The best game ever made! Snake, you there? It's me. I've finished going over that disc. Did you find the Patriots list? Of course. It contains the personal data of 12 people. There was a name on it. Snake, it was one of our biggest contributors. What's going on around here? I don't know. What? Anyway, where are they? Well, we were right about them being on Manhattan, but... But what? They're already dead. All 12 of them. When did it happen? Well, uh, about a hundred years ago. The Founding Fathers. What the hell? Ta-da!